let's analyze what I have in my arsenal here. Fire Flower's not gonna do anything, so I can get rid of that. You seem to have your usual phases, right? There's like no variation here. Alright, examination's over. Things are walled off. Hit him when he gets that bit. Does he have a set pattern? Okay, so yeah, he does. He does have a bit of a set pattern. Because he does one, one, two, one, and two. Right. Oh, okay. I thought it wasn't coming back for a second there. Well, he's shooting an extra one now. I think he may have gotten into his next phase. Ah, there's his next phase. Alright, I remember this phase very well. I'm supposed to jump on, jump on these and just get him on his head. I need to get him on the way back, which is this one. Ow, which is this one right here. Ah, oh, damn it, I missed. Ah, oh, well, fair luck next time. Where is the end for this? Be this one. Right next to the dome. Right. Ah. Oh. Had a chance for a chain there. This is gonna be the one then. No, it's not. I mistimed that. The next one's right near the dome. Except unless he, like, brings it way too close. Uh, second column? This is gonna be the one. No, it's not. It's all about timing. Here we go. That's gonna be the one. See, when it comes to this phase, <coughs> it's all about the timing, because you're not gonna catch him. You're not gonna catch him if you just chase the darn things. You have to wait for him to get close to, to the end so that you can uh, actually do it. So I have to wait for this one? Yes. Ow. Oh well. Now what are we doing? Okay, it's the same thing. It's the same thing, but now he's, now he's having those things come out. Right? Yeah, okay. So it's the same thing now because the things lower themselves to the ground. This is probably going to be a lot easier. If nothing else, for the fact that I can actually control where these things go, in a way. So if I just stack a bunch of them together, I should be able to just jump. Ah, damn it! I didn't realize that I might jump could actually uh, touch him. That's a bit comforting to know. There we go. See like that. Let's get yourself a nice little combo of hits. And since these things are kind of slow, I'm gonna actually have to wait a bit. Come on. He's coming back. He's coming back. There we go. Alright, his form changed. That means now we have to get rid of this extra bit. These extra bits. Alright, it's the same thing as before. He's just throwing fireballs this time. Ah, he jumps too. Clever. Very clever. I'll take the hit just to deliver one. Launch the fire. Jump for his jumps. Fine. Ah, damn. I jumped right in between him. He's gonna jump again right here. Okay, so his jumps always at least have a set pattern, so I can, I can always catch them. Oh. That was clever. That was clever. You know, so I'm actually gonna have to, like, just, 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 just jump over everything here. There we go. Come back around. Ah, he's always matching my jumps. Clever. But the safe spots in the back of his, the very back of his body. So that's always that's good to know. Careful now. Oh jeez. Okay, now we're in the next phase, which is what? Okay, yeah, these things. I remember these things. You have to I forget if you have to jump on them or if you just let them land. I'm gonna have to try to find out as soon as he drops one. Have to, well, this one's gonna be a bit easy because it's gonna be a matter of keeping him on the screen so that he can fit the things out that I need. If he spits out the ones that I need, you're gonna spit out the thing I need in a bit. There you go. Ow! Right. Jump over the fire. Ah, I mean, he spawns off screen. Right. Keep following. There we go. This is the one I need. Oh, get back here, you damn thing. There we go. Oh, jeez. Alright. Ow. Okay. 
pathing on this thing on these things are kind of um, are a bit weird. They don't stop. Oh, that one's gonna go. Yeah, that one went off screen. I couldn't do anything about that one. Uh, nope. Uh, there we go. Come on, stay on the screen. If you despawn, I'm in big trouble. This thing despawns off the ground up to it. I can actually, I can actually catch up to it. There we go. Ow! I need to drop a second. It's actually very good for me. Unless, that's, unless that happens, which is I can just grab you and start again. I really hope you don't have a resetter. If you reset, I'm gonna be in big hurt. Now, what the hell phase are you in? Okay, you're in the same phase. You're just, it's just a bit more dangerous now. Okay, so now I have to, I have to both time things as well as dodge the bolts. But if I'm, if I'm, if I'm sticking with my same strategy, then, then uh, it should be relatively at least easier. You know what's gonna happen. This one's just too far. This one's just too far. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to jump over the. I'm not gonna be able to jump over the painful one either. All right. This is gonna be the one. This one is gonna be the one right here. I have to wait for this. There you go. Like that. And now we're jumping into this phase. Uh, no, you can't. You actually going over there screwed me up. I had this plan perfectly set up. You should be coming back very shortly, so I should just be able to just get this jump off now. Ah, I missed time just by a bit. Let's try it again. No, I'm on the I'm on the right track. If I can just dodge the ball. I need to have my internal clock uh, very time timed a lot better because. I'm, 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 I'm getting the right spirit of it, I'm just not actually hitting the damn thing. This, this will be the one, though. Pretty sure this hit might send him to the next phase. Clear it up a bit. He's coming back. Ah, oh, there he is. He's coming back. Aw. I have like a uh, half a second window here. If I could just hit it, that should be fine. I can't actually hit it because I'm screwing up big time. Yep. Yep. I'll wait for him to come around. There we go. Now. What part are we back into? Oh, this is. Oh, this is the. This is, just, this is the broken graphic right here. Okay, this is. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what that was. I'm not entirely sure what these what these flashing orbs are. I don't know if they're like a broken graphic or if uh, they're thing or if they're just something a bit different. I'm just jump over that. That let's break you. For you to come around. Oh jeez, you switched you switched phases entirely. Right. If you're gonna give us a thing that switches phases without actually looking different, that's gonna be a bit tricky to actually figure out. To do next. There we go, I've recovered. Shoot that up. There we go. Again. Oof, no. What I'm gonna have to do is just jump over them. Then I can grab it. There we go. <coughs> I need to keep it on the screen. Because then I can just do that. There we go. Oh, it's over now. Alright. Fair enough. And dodged. Fair enough. That was a pretty decent boss fight. <coughs> I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. <clears throat> at least he's stubborn, so we have to, you have to give Ice at least that. <clears throat> wow. It's actually some pretty good strength to lift a kid up that high just by holding it, just by grabbing his hand. <clears throat> I have no idea where he ends up flying. Oh, it just flew across the stage, right? Alright. Oh god, oh. That hurt. That one hurt. 
Yep, and I'll do it. And that is one fallen OC right there. And that's actually pretty dramatic. Good touch. Good touch. That's actually a pretty good line. <laughs> I have to give credit to that. That's a very, very good line. Alright, fair enough. Hmm. Then again, you know, that really does suck too, knowing that everything you worked for has been for nothing. That hurts. <laughs> All right. And thus, everyone died. Or something. Everyone is going to die. So that happened. And now this is metaphorical. Very metaphorical. Touching words. Anyone would say that, really. It's a good message to relate to the people of the future. That's actually true, too. Humans really wouldn't be able to destroy Magi. I think the only reason they would win is because Magi are such small numbers. But the Magi would make everything hell. There would be a lot of blood spilled. Everything's fucked. It's like you're really always just a waste.
Well, that's a shocker. And here's a lot of terms that nobody understands. It's like telling someone they only have a... Well, he only, only has two weeks to live. No, three technically. Like two and... 2.9 weeks to live, more or less. Yep. Yep, and that's the worst way you can go. Well, at someone like you. Because warriors are expected to die on the battlefield, and they're not going to die, they're just going to fade out into obscurity. Mm -mm -mm. What a way to go. You know, I'm pretty sure this scene is expected to was supposed to help you feel empathy for the villains, but considering what it just happens, no one would be surprised if no one actually felt anything for this. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh huh. All right. Well, you know, it's a good name at least. Icicles. Just freeze the entire core and just do everything. Blow up the sun. Blowing up the sun will, would solve, would, would wreck race, would just speed up the entire process. If you only really think about it. <coughs> Ow, every cough hurts. <coughs> this is the part where hunters need to get a massive exoskeleton and become Super Hunter, or something. I'm assuming, then, that that's the end, because I actually can't skip through any of this, any more of this. And I'm pretty sure if I press start, it's gonna kick me back to a thing. So... We're gonna end with a blank screen, I suppose. This is gonna be the longest video I've ever had to make. Probably because I'm not gonna be cutting this up into chunks. This is all gonna go right there in the big thing. Maybe not. I'll probably cut it off right before the final boss. That'll probably be be, be the way to go. And uh, assuming, assuming you're hearing this, you already know what I did. So why am I explaining this to all of you? Uh, yeah. Impressions, <clears throat> or rather, an impression video uh, later on, as well as some other stuff for the future. Uh, until next time, this is Gunblazer42, everybody. And, uh, that was quite a ride. That was quite a ride. A very good ride. A very hard ride. But it was, it was, it was a good ride regardless. Bye, everybody.